We return a very young group, uh, um, a lot of great um, individuals who put significant minutes on the field for us last year, but overall I would say we're still very young in the experience department. We brought in a good size first year class. They are working incredibly hard and they've just kind of jumped right in, which is something as a head coach you always want to see. We're excited about our leadership. The seniors have done a really good job of taking ownership in the direction that we're going to take the program this year and they have really stepped up to the plate and that really for them started last spring to be honest and so it's nice to see them really take over. We play a very hard schedule again. You know we play you know three out of the top four teams out of the Wisconsin Conference. We play you know three of the top four teams out of the uh, Minnesota Conference and then our conference is going to be incredibly competitive this year. Yeah, they're, they're all competitors. We have a couple of them that are multi-sport athletes. And yes, we had a few that had opportunities that played in some big games at the state tournament this year and in some really big roles. And then, yeah, we just have some that are just fighters, which have, has been great. And, and some of them came from programs that weren't the strongest and they really had to kind of be the leaders on it. So that's always nice to see too. Yeah, last year the defensive piece really came together in October. I'll be honest with that. And they played fantastic against the conference opponents. We gave up the least amount of goals in conference last year at that time. So yes, that piece is huge. Um, we have several goalkeepers that are doing really, really well. So, you know, right now we're kind of in the phase of starting to have conversations and things like that, but the competition has been at an all time high. I don't know if there's a particular team for me at this time that you know I see is the only game that's going to be hard for us. I kind of see it as having to grind it out, that each game is going to be more and more difficult. And even some of the teams that end it at the lower tier of the conference last year have done some amazing things just over the last year to kind of put themselves in a way better place. So we know everyone will be not only better this year, but will be kind of gunning for us too. But as long as we always know why what we're doing and we don't focus so much on the exact wins and losses, but that we're just getting better each and every single week, I've found the mentality can stay at an all-time high. When you just are just focusing on winning, 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 that's when it gets draining. We just want to make sure we're getting better so we're playing our best soccer at the end of October. So yes, the seating looks beautiful. Um, you know, we were able to have fans in it the other night, and so that was a lot of fun. The field looks great, and you know, they're, I love Warper because they're constantly supporting us and constantly helping us to provide a really, really great atmosphere. So all the people that have not only you know put the time into making this happen on such a short amount of time. I mean, you know, it kind of got done right before preseason, but everybody who um, donate it to make this happen. I can't tell you enough how much we appreciate it, appreciate it. When I played here, we had no lights, we had no seating, no backstops, I mean, nothing. And so to see it fr go from 2004, I mean, really, when you think about it in such a short amount of time, it's just, it's fantastic. And I can't thank everybody enough.